Construction matters. It's hugely influential and the buildings and built infrastructure it delivers affect how everybody is able to live their lives and how just about every other business and service operates. Take housing for example. The house you live in and that your family and friends live in was designed and planned by somebody in the construction industry. And the way they've gone about that dictates to an extent how you're able to live your life and interact with the people around you. Now, we need to build a lot more housing in the UK. So that's a huge responsibility and it's something we really need to get right and take very, very seriously. We need more skilled people coming into our sector to help us deliver that. There's never been a more critical time for the construction sector. We're faced with challenges like population growth, the need to build more housing, climate change, and the need to build more sustainable, smarter cities. At the same time, the wider digitization of the world around us is having a profound impact on the construction sector, disrupting business models and bringing new technologies to the fore. There's everything from drones undertaking aerial surveys to robots tying steel reinforcement autonomously or even building walls, the 3D printing of entire houses, science fiction inspired exoskeletons that help protect manual workers, horizontal elevators, and even entire skyscrapers planned and built in virtual reality before a single spade hits the job site. Today, I'm at King Egbert School in Sheffield, visiting pupils studying Design, Engineer, Construct, a program that builds on their enthusiasm for construction from an early age and gives them the skills they need to come into our sector and help move it forward. Now, do me a favor, have a look at the enthusiasm of these kids and see why it's so important to give young people the opportunity to follow their interests from an early age. The reason I chose Design Engineer Construct is because I want to improve the lives of people around me. It aligned very closely with um, the way I feel about the world, sustainability, improving the built environment. Well, I've I signed up to do the Construction, Civil Engineering and the Built Environment course at college, which is a two-year course. And after one year, you choose if you want to go into the Civil Engineering side, which is more the math side, and, or if you want to do the Construction with the site quantity surveyors, site managers and stuff like that. And obviously me doing deck at school, the Revit and stuff, it puts me at a better state of being able to do that because then obviously I know how to do it more and I can help other people in the course. After I leave school, I want to go to university to study civil and structural engineering. Um, I want to do a master's in that and then I, after that I want to move on to um, either go straight into structural engineering or somewhere in civil. Um, I'm not completely sure exactly what sort of area I do want to move into but I think that's the thing about civil which I love about it is it's very broad and I can go where I want after uni. Uh, I love the creative side so designing buildings and seeing how they work in different environments. I quite like the fact that I get to design a building so I get to see what I've done using uh, advanced software and just interesting figuring out how a building works, all the services, all aspects of it. It's really developed my sort of way of looking at problems as well. What I want to do is going to involve a lot of problem solving, a lot of that sort of mindset, a lot of modelling, and it will, it's a really good way of sort of developing how you think and how you do things as well as learning these skills, which will be really useful. Back in the day, we were a technology college, but the attitude here of, of taking the STEM subjects very seriously still remains. Uh, but I think also what's interesting is, is moving with the time. You know, we don't want to teach STEM and technology-based subjects for jobs and careers of a previous generation. Um, the, the impact of new technology around design is, is profound, and so we were really keen to look at this course. We were looking for something different that would challenge our more able pupils. The learning about the whole of the built environment. So it does cover all bases, right from planning through to design and architecture, then the more technical side of structural engineering, building services engineering. We look at land surveying, where a building goes, who it's for. So it does give all sorts of students an insight into the industry. And what's particularly impressive is even though it's a school subject, it's not watered down in any way. They're using industry standard um, software and they're working side by side with people in the professions and getting work experience with those organisations. And one of the things that's really exciting is when our, our teenagers go into work in those offices, um, the organisation is sometimes surprised that they already know how to use industry standard software. I firmly believe that school takes you somewhere else in life and it's nice to know what these subjects apply to 
and what you can use them for. Suddenly maths comes alive when you're calculating areas, distances. The same with geography, using all your mapping skills. And I think it gives a context to the core subjects and lets students know what they could be later on in life. It's exciting, it's really pushed me. I go home wanting to create lessons to bring to the kids. I've loved Revit. I don't think I've ever learned so much in my whole life, to be honest. There are young people like this all around the world who have the skills and the passion to thrive in construction and to move it forward for everyone's benefit, delivering housing and a built environment that affects everybody's lives. Programmes like this are great for giving young people a route into the industry. Our YouTube channel is watched overwhelmingly by young people. That's why we're sharing the most exciting technology and the most awe-inspiring projects to show them that our industry is about so much more than just mud and bricks. So if you work in construction, reach out to programmes like this and give young people an opportunity, whether through work experience, an apprenticeship, or even their first job. If you're a parent or a teacher, don't discount the construction sector, because it could give the young people you care about the opportunity to use the skills they already have as part of their working life. And if you're a young person trying to work out what you want to do in life, come into the construction sector and get paid for doing what you love. Exciting, cutting edge stuff that affects everyone's lives every day.